I'm Lisa Ring, and I'm proud to nominate my husband for vice chair of uh, congressional districts and county uh, liaison. I am sure that John expected to get involved in party politics about as much as I expected to ever be a congressional candidate, but here we are. Um, when we were approached and asked to restart the Bryan County Democratic Committee, John jumped right in. He served as vice chair and state committee member, and now he is still the county chair of that committee. Um, when I decided that I wanted to run as a delegate to the Democratic National Convention, John ran my campaign as if it were a presidential campaign itself. Uh, we educated the first district about what delegate elections were and won that election and raised enough money to send me to Philadelphia. When I decided that it was important that in the first district we collaborated with all of the 17 counties uh, and that we encouraged people to run for office and supported them when they did. When I made a concerted effort to create a committee to deal with these issues and bring people together, John was there fighting right by my side. When I decided to run for Congress, John ended up being my campaign manager. We reached twice as many people as we, I would have been able to alone. Um, he has been my partner in sharing a vision not only for the first district of Georgia, but for the state of Georgia. All of the work that he has done has not just been for me. Um, he has established his own reputation as a leader of the, the chair of the Veterans and Military Families Caucus. He has taken a new caucus and um, really organized throughout the state and been pretty much the only person doing it. Uh, he has a reputation for being the person to call when you have a question, when you need help with something, when you need to be connected to somebody, and he does it because he wants to help. So beyond the first district, we have candidates who were calling my husband and asking him for advice on congressional campaigns and local campaigns, and he has always been there trying to help people uh, be the most effective that they can be. Um, what we need is somebody that has the personality that my husband has, and that's that he does not give up. He is a pain in the neck. If he wants to talk to you, he will make sure he gets a hold of you and he gets things done. So it is my honor to proudly nominate John Ring for Vice Chair of Congressional Districts and County Committees. Thank you. Good afternoon. I bring you greetings from the coastal Georgia. Uh, my name is Julie Jordan. I'm the Glenn County Chair. And uh, I want to second the nomination of John Ring. Before I became a candidate for House District 179, Lisa and I had gone to some trainings together, and John was there every step of the way. Um, with our county party, we, we campaigned together, we knocked doors together. He would do whatever it takes to get the job done so that we can win in 2020. It is my honor to not, sec to not second the nomination for John Ray, and I'm gonna um, give the rest of my time to him. Thank you. Good afternoon, Democrats. How are you today? Well, I don't know how to follow that. I mean, I'm, I'm thankful for Julie and Lisa. And those are two phenomenal candidates. Uh, very difficult to keep up with. So thank you for the nomination. Uh, i also like to thank uh, two of my observers back there. Uh, Mr. Whiteley, uh, he is vice chair of the Chatham County Democratic Committee and chair and county commissioner Jay Jones. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank our state committee, uh, our executives, our elected officials for being here today. But mostly, I would like to thank everybody standing around this because I know it's, it's very difficult, and uh, thank you. Um, another thing I'd like to do as the chair of the Veterans and Military Family Caucus, I would like to take a moment for all of our veterans to stand up. If you are able, if you're standing, raise your hand, please.
Thank you very much. And I also, if your spouse for here with you, I thank them and your family members for their service as well. Um, I, I didn't come here to uh, talk about accomplishments. Um, I came here to talk about the job. You know, we, I'm a person that, you know, as a campaign manager, I get the call, I react. I do the job, I get the job done. And, you know, we, we've talked a lot about our success here today as a party. And that, I commend everybody in this room. We've done a lot of work. But there's a lot of work that we still have to do. And very little mention of that has come today. So I'm going to take a moment, besides uh, Mayor Terry over there, I'm not going to out to eat right now, but um, you know, he talked about that schedule. That schedule has like been a key issue for people when I talk to our state committee members. We need to know what's going on. Um, another thing, after speaking with several of our state committee members, communication. Communication has been a big problem that needs to be fixed. It might not be a problem in your county. We have thriving counties out there, but we have a rural Georgia. We have small counties. We have county committees with five people, and we need to fix that. The communication has to be there to include district chairs, county chairs, first vice chairs, and second vice chairs, so everybody is on the same page. Another thing. Training. Very little talk about that. County committees need better training. We need to come into the counties and we need to work with the elected officers and we need to build a platform for new members to grow and to be successful. It takes me to growth. Growth. I see everything on Facebook. I think I'm on everybody's Facebook. But some of those county committees, they don't have 100 people. They don't have 150 people. They have 10, 5, 15, 20. Growth is very important. And one thing that we can do that other states have done is they've worked on a multi-county committee structure that rural areas work together for growth. And that is something that we can look into as the Georgia Democratic Party. Teamwork. We must work together. If you are in an urban county that has the bodies to be out there knocking on doors, why can't we help our friends in rural counties? It needs to happen. That's how we are going to find candidates, support candidates, and win elections in 2019, which I didn't hear 2019 too much today. Did we talk about 2019? No, oh, we got elections. In fact, we have a state house election in District 176 down yes. in South Georgia, which I have seen nothing about. February 12th. Wow. We need to be talking about these things. And lastly, organization. Organization is key to everything. And I'm going to say this. A certified county is not a well-organized county. I'm going to say that one more time. A certified county is not a well-organized county. We need to fix it. We can fix it. And I've been working at this in my district for a while. Uh, I've worked with new committees to get them up and running. But they still need help. And I want to be able to offer everybody that help. So lastly, if I'm elected today, I will do everything I can throughout the entire state, all 159 counties where we need it, and I will work to get Democrats elected in 2019 and 2020. Thank you for your time.